Hello all. My name is Tia Resniemi. I'm a ministerial advisor at the Finnish Ministry of Transport and Communications. And it's my pleasure to uh, tell you a little bit about the Finnish Act on Transport Services and the Finnish approach on ecosystemic cooperation when it comes to mobility as a service. I will start by introducing a little bit of background about our National Act on Transport Services and especially the data provisions of the Act. Then uh, I will move on to the Finnish approach to mobility as a service that is focused uh, on the customer and uh, the ecosystemic approach we have promoted uh, that is built especially on public-private people partnerships. Uh, some background about the regulation in Finland. The Act on Transport Services came into force in the summer of 2018 and uh, at the time it brought significant changes to the Finnish transport market that was by then strictly regulated and guided by public measures. The Act uh, promotes fair competition in the mobility market and by enabling seamless uh, multimodal travel chains, the Act enhances the implementation of new technologies, digitalization and new business concepts. The key aim is to enable customer-focused mobility services. Uh, then a few words about the data provisions of the Act. Uh, how the aims of the Act are promoted uh, in that sense. First, uh, the Act obligates to open up essential data. Also, it obligates to grant access to single ticketing interfaces. That means that the access must be provided to the sales interface of the ticket reservation or payment system. The Finnish model of uh, third-party ticketing is based on user accounts. There's an obligation to grant access to interface for acting on behalf of the customer. It allows the third party to access a user account in the mobility service in order to acquire a ticket by using the identification and user information that already exists in the service user's account. Moreover, the Act requires that data and technical solutions must be interoperable. Interoperability and account-based ticketing are also promoted uh, through public service contracts. And finally, uh, the Act sets an obligation to cooperate because uh, cross-sectoral cooperation that includes all public and private market players and all levels of operation is really needed in order to provide a comprehensive service offering for the customer. So, regarding the roles of the public and private sector, it's really important to understand that uh, what Finland wants to promote is a decentralized uh, model for mass. A decentralized model is based on open interfaces. This kind of model opens the market for competing mass operators who can then create competing service offerings. Competition between service providers will accelerate the development of new services that benefit the customer. A decentralized model means that no centralized intermediary is necessary. On the other uh, end of the spectrum, a centralized mass model would be built on one centralized intermediary. That kind of model would be more closed and therefore not very well scalable. Of course, in practice, the market will likely to establish it itself somewhere between these two ends of uh, the spectrum. In this, uh, addition to decentralized solutions, there will be several competing intermediaries that are specialized in certain areas. So, putting customer at the center is the idea behind the Finnish Act on Transport Services. 
In other words, mobility should no longer be a question of different modes, but about providing the best possible service for the customer. The Act uh, views the whole transport system as one entity and provides the needed elements for a technology-neutral digitalization of mobility services and also the creation of new service models. A mall service provider brokers and integrates the services from different modes and different service providers according to the customer needs and then offers the entire travel chain for the customer. For the customer point of view, Mars offers smoothness and ease of mobility because uh, this is a way that one service can provide a broad selection of different type of services. But efficient Mars uh, needs support from the transport system as well as the regulatory framework that supports it. Further, the openness of data and interoperability of the systems uh, should be ensured. The regulation should not prevent the service providers from developing new service models or, or new type of services or, or the uh, entry of uh, new commerce to the market. Additionally, uh, the transport infrastructure such as routes, uh, stations and parking uh, should also support the use of uh, multimodal services. Transport is a sector where the public uh, sector has a decisive role when it comes to planning and organizing transport and mobility services. Uh, public subventions and investments have a crucial role for the preconditions of the market. We really believe that travel chains in the future are built on different combinations of services that are provided by public and private service providers alike. Therefore, it's really important that we make ecosystemic development part of business and innovation policy. A transport sector ecosystem means a network of different, um, different service providers that compete with them, one another and complement one another. These ecosystems should operate on the basis of long-term public-private people partnership models, uh, the aim being to develop competitive business ecosystems. In the optimum situation, these ecosystems enable constantly developing network structures, continuous joint learning and open innovation. The actors in the ecosystem compete with one another and with uh, other ecosystems, but at the same time, they deliver added value for each other and especially for the customer. Thank you.